Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this new person feel about Gemini? How does this new person feel? Okay, right away we have the five of cups. We have the four of swords. You remind someone of the past here, Gemini. There's something that this person has already done, experienced, that lingers in their mind. But I feel like for the most part, day to day, they can go about their day and they don't think about it. But then there's something about you that triggers that. And I don't think you're, you're, you're saying or doing anything purposely here, Gemini. But you, there's something about... Your energy, maybe your laugh, the way you speak. There's something here that makes this person like almost revisit something from the past here. What is that five of cups? What is that? <laughs> Their happiness that they once had here. Tell me more about that five of cups. Judgment, the three of swords, yep. The page of cups, the five... Someone here, you're getting five, five here. Someone here sabotaged something in their past and you're reminding them of that. Now, now this is new love, right? So this doesn't have to necessarily be someone who you've never met before in your entire life, right? Because this is energy I'm picking up on. I, it's going to be different for everyone. This could have been someone that like maybe you had a beginning with or there was potential there and then they shut it down. And now they're coming back around and they're thinking about you all over again or something like that. If that's not the case, this could be someone who's brand new, who is thinking about something from their past here and you remind them of it for some reason. You may look the same as this person or it's like that Usher song. You remind me, you remind me, you remind me of a girl that I once knew. Um, this person had happiness or had a shot at happiness at one point in their life here and they blew it is what it feels like it feels like they could have let a third party situation get in they could have sabotaged it they ruined something in the past here and you remind them of that they wish they could apologize so i don't know if it's you or like i said another situation that that's coming up here this person wants to apologize, but I'm supposed to be picking up on new love here. So like I said, if this is someone you have history with, it might not line up with that. I mean, take it as it resonates, right? But but why the sabotage? Like why? This person was too stubborn. This person was too stubborn. They were too hard-headed. They could have, there could be an Aries. Um, they were too, they were too much in need of control here. This was someone who either with you, like I said, or someone from the past here that they realized I messed up. There's a lot of shame. There's a lot of guilt here. There's a lot of like should have, could have, would have energy coming through. Let me know in the comments because I, I really can't tell if this is someone you have history with that there was a spark but it didn't sh it didn't go anywhere and they're trying a new shot here at love with you or this is like just their own um person or past or experience that they're being reminded of here but this person like there's a lot that comes up when you come around here gemini you're like 
it's like this person has flashbacks. It's like they keep thinking about conversations over and over again. Tell me about the four of swords. We also have the three, four, five of swords here. The nine of cups. This person is trying to figure out like what what am I what even makes me happy? We have the hierophant that just fell as well. Did, like this person might have been someone who's like I don't need commitment, I don't want commitment, I'm good on my own, and they realize they messed up on that. They realize wait a second, I'm not actually happier doing what I thought was going to make me happier. So this person is really trying to think about what makes them feel fulfilled. I feel like there's something here about you, Gemini, that. Um, feels very good to this person like there is this you know happiness that they feel like they can have with you and that you spark up but it's also reminding them of all the mistakes that they've made so there's a lot that comes up with this person when you come around here Gemini and if you don't know that and this person just starts acting funny or weird or they pull back or something, you might think it's something you're doing or something that, you know, um, but this is just like another gentle reminder, you know, people's behaviors and how they think and feel are a projection of what's going on inside of them, right? How they handle conflict, how they handle disappointment, how they handle heartbreak, however it might be. Like if they feel like that speaks to their self-worth, they could start to act out right? Um, so uh, this is very interesting, Gemini. I don't feel like a message like this has come through before. This is unique. So if it doesn't resonate, uh, don't take it. But I also encourage you to check your other placements, you know, um, sun sign, moon sign, rising, Venus. If you don't know how to figure that out, I'll post a link down below for you. Um, just write that down so I don't forget because I often forget what I'm supposed to do when I'm channeling. Let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? Three of cups. So you got threes and three, four, five. Oof, two of cups. Now you got two, three. The king of swords. You know what's so funny about this person is they want to come together here with you. They do. This person wants to have a heart to heart here with you. It looks like they're going to. Someone here wants to come together. They want to have a good time, maybe even ask you out here. Perhaps there's like a mutual event you'll both be at and they purposely want to make sure that they go so that they'll see you, they'll run into you, whatever it is. But at the same time, they act like this doesn't bother them. This is my soulmate card. This is someone who feels just a pull towards you. You can't, it's like inexplicable. It's like, you just feel drawn to this person. This person definitely feels it towards you. And so they want to, I'm going to pull on this two of cups, but they're acting like it doesn't bother them. They're acting like it's no big deal. They might even come towards you and say something like, yeah, I've been thinking about you or like, yeah, I've been thinking about us getting together, but just, just thought I'd see, just thought I'd see like what you're up to and how you feel about it. When in reality, there's like this whole slew of emotions that comes up for them when when they speak to you or when they think of you. Tell me about the two of cups. <laughs> the queen of swords. So you got the king and queen of swords here, the six of swords. This person feels like the only way for them to deal with their emotions and what they're feeling is to distance themselves from it. This person also feels like the two of you when you have conversation or they just assume, because especially if this is someone brand new, Gemini, you might be like, this person doesn't know how I handle conflict or how I handle serious conversations, they assume you're going to come at them with the same kind of energy, cold, detached, like factual, you know, it is what it is, no BS. And maybe this is because this is how past people have handled conversations with them. They're not used to or accustomed to like gentleness or compassion, right? So they kind of come forward with this king of swords because they're like, just in case, Gemini's coming with that Queen of Swords energy. I'm prepared. I'm ready for battle. They assume this is how it's going to be. But what I feel like this person also does, Gemini, is, is they come off so strong and so hard-headed that it leaves you in a position of like, well, okay, I, like, I'm feeling defensive now. And then it's almost like confirmation bias for this person. Like, yeah, see, I told you Gemini was going to come at me with this strong energy. It's like, well, you didn't really give them a choice. Right. So I feel like this person is just trying to like handle how they feel right now. And they feel the best way to do that is to sort of like detach from this feeling. Anything else about the two of cups? 
the page of wands it, like i said there's definitely a message coming in here they're definitely going to reach out there's curiosity what are you up to how you're doing how you're feeling but they're going to try and keep it light they're going to try and keep it like it's no big deal here you know um if you message great if not whatever that's not the truth here gemini so let's see their true intentions then because i'm really curious about their intentions so they could be an air sign like yourself gemini Libra, aquarius we also have some water pisces cancer scorpio and we have aries but if you don't hear their sign it doesn't mean they're not here what is this person's true intentions with gemini there's that five of cups again it's almost like six of swords they're there's something about this connection, Gemini, that's, it's almost like they feel it's going to help them get over the past. If they can do it right this time or do it that this way, like say what they need to say with you, even if it's not the two of you that have history, it's like, it's like making up for what happened before. What is this? Tell me more about their intentions. The five of swords. You're literally getting all the same cards. Five of Swords, Five of Cups for how they feel, for their intentions, the Six of Swords twice. There, so look out for Five, Five. You got Two, Three, Four. You got Four, Three, Four, Five. Um, this is someone who's... Yeah, I see the Ten of Swords at the bottom. This And the Eight of Cups behind that. This is someone who's like very dismissive very like they might have an avoidant attachment if if you don't know your attachment style um check it out i'll post a link for you and, and read up on avoidant attachment style because if, it feels like that's what this person has it feels like they when big emotions come up for this person they they run away from them this person's almost stuck in a loop. It's like, I'm I'm mad at myself for making those past decisions, for, for handling it how it did. But then another situation comes up. It's like, but I still don't know how to handle this. I'm, I'm going to self-sabotage now. I'm mad at myself for that. And then it just keeps going in this loop here. And this person's just trying to like get out of that. But it's really hard for them. We got the three. They said put those back. Okay. Um, it's really hard for them to like escape this. Yeah, look at eight of swords. They're, they're heavy in their mind and eight of wands. Look at all these, these significant, sorry, these synchronicities. If you follow my channel, you know that synchronicities in, in the reading with the cards is spirit's way of telling me this is a significant relationship in your life. I don't know who this is. I don't know how long they're going to be in your life, but a soulmate always plays a major role in your soul evolution, in your growth, right? I see a lot of comments that like, a soulmate wouldn't sabotage, a soulmate wouldn't play mind games, a soulmate wouldn't, you know, um, act distant from you. My belief when I say soulmates is that it's someone to help you grow. So a soulmate isn't always, you know, rainbows and butterflies. A soulmate is sometimes someone who's teaching you how to set boundaries or to speak up for yourself, right? It's not always like this airy fairy kind of deal. And that's not what this feels like with this person. I'm going to be honest with you, Gemini. This feels more like someone, and it could be a friend too. Love, love readings can also pertain to friends. It feels like someone who doesn't know how to handle their own emotions. They feel trapped inside their own head. They could make like really impulsive moves or say things that they don't really mean, or they're just quick to decide. There's someone who's like, oh, once Gemini has like said that thing or, or um, done that thing to slight me in any way, done, I'm done. There's no, there's no going back. This is someone with like black and white thinking. Um, as soon as I said that, I, and I'm just going to preface this with, I work in the mental health field, so I'm aware of what these things mean. Borderline could borderline personality disorder could be coming up. Someone who's like quick to end relationships, their like mood could change quick. They're feeling very insecure in themselves. They have like unstable relationships. They just like avoid. It's like they want that closeness, but they but they uh, don't know how to maintain it either. I get more avoidant, but usually with borderline, it's fearful avoidant. Anyway. I'm not here to diagnose anyone, but it just feels like this person's quick to decide who's good for them and who's not. And it can be based off something really small. And this person's emotions are like all over the place. Like look at this like whirlwind they're feeling. So it's like 
the, the only way this person knows how to handle this, like what they intend to do is just like distance themselves. Something with the Six of Swords. And like not take accountability either, I have to say. Yeah, look at Page of Swords, keep it light. King of Pentacles, they might just throw themselves into work. Yeah, they, they might be like hot and cold here, inconsistent, play games with you. They might like say sorry by giving gifts or spending money instead of actually saying sorry. Right? I feel like they could just like leave it at like a flirtatious level or like make it make jokes, try to like make light of the situation. But in reality, it's like they're acting like kind of rude. I don't usually go back and go back to like actions and clarify, but clarify the king of swords for me, please. I feel the need to. Chariot. This could be someone who goes back on their word a lot too. Like, I didn't say that, or that's not what I meant, or um yeah i meant that in the moment but like this is what's different now or something like you could get like confused by this person i feel like they change direction a lot um we have cancer energy there this is someone who's like my way or the highway i'm hearing i don't know there's like a stubbornness to this person okay what's the potential outcome because honestly this feels a little bit like eh. there's that three of cups you might just like stay friends with this person or just keep it at like a distance. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll be with them when, you know, if we all get together. But other than that, no thank you. Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands, the star. The thing is, I feel like you're just in this energy, Gemini, where you're like, I'm not trying to let anything bring me down here. Like, I'm having a good time or I'm not having the time with you at all. If you're not contributing to like my happiness here, my like that spark that you, you've been feeling all on your own here, Gemini. I feel like if you're like, if it's too much, if it's too burdensome, like I'm just going to focus on myself here. Anything else? I don't know. This just feels like hanged man. Yeah. I feel like a, it's changing your perspective on like what to give and what not to give to this connection. But also you're realizing like if someone else wants to stay stuck in their ways, if someone else doesn't want to change their perception, that's not your job to fix it. That's way too much stress for you. That's way too much burden, right? So if they just want to act like everything's fine, they just want to act like, okay, we'll go out and have a good time and everything's okay. I feel like you just go along with it. You're like, oh, okay, whatever. Not because you agree, but because you're like, I'm just not going to spend the energy and the time to like go into this with you. You've already, you're like, that just not, doesn't line up with me. That's how this feels. So we have Pisces energy here. How will Gemini know who this is? nine of swords someone who is very anxious they think a lot like they overthink they worry a lot you might not even know this about this person but they do knight of cups could be very charming and the lovers wow gemini energy there that's your energy and justice this person doesn't know how to handle deep connections is what i'm getting i feel like it feels good at first and it feels charming and it feels like fun and exciting and then once it gets so deep, it's almost like this person feels like out of whack, out of balance, and all of a sudden they start overthinking everything. And then they start acting, they act funny. They act, start acting weird. Any advice for Gemini? Page of Pentacles, keep it surface level, keep it light. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, just be aware of how much energy you're actually giving to it because I feel like you have a lot of things going on right now. And if this, again, isn't lining up with what works best for you then then just leave it um not that you have to cut this person off completely but i just feel like you don't have to reveal all your cards here either like like i said if this person is acting funny and you can see very clearly what they're doing and how it doesn't line up with you you don't even necessarily have to tell them that because i feel like you're kind of at this point where you're like okay I'm just observing if that's how this person wants to be okay like i got other things i'm worrying about yeah we could be friends or we can keep it surface level but like i'm not gonna get into it with you i don't know it just doesn't it doesn't feel like i don't want to say you don't care Jedi. maybe you don't maybe you just don't care enough i don't know um but that's kind of how it feels a little bit we got younger man dealings a relationship with a younger man so for some of you, this person could be younger than you. doesn't have to be. You could be the younger man. Broken ring. Parting of ways in either romance or business. So like I said, you could just kind of realize like this is just not 
really what I thought it was going to be. But I don't feel like it's phasing you. I feel like, again, a soulmate is not necessarily someone who's in your life for a long period of time and who you fall madly in love with. Soulmates can be friends. They can be family members. They can be our pets, right? It's just, it's some soul here on earth that's helping you grow, helping you evolve. Sometimes you learn that lesson in two weeks, Gemini, and you don't need to have this person around for six months to get it. Right? Like if you are just observing what they're doing and it and you realize right away, okay, not for me. I feel like the universe is like cheering you on. Like, yeah, okay, you got it right away. You passed the test. We don't need to, we don't need this person around anymore. We got mountain road. You were on the road to success. And shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So what's that shark about? The Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. It's something to do with work here. Something to do with money. Something I feel like you need to... Like something you may have worked really hard for, but you have there's some sort of research you have to do here. It's like... It's like, oh, like you might have overlooked something. Gemini. Anything else for that shark? Seven of Cups and the Devil. Yeah, there's. you could just be confused about what to do here. There could be fear about taking a next step or something like that. Something could feel like it's taking really long. This feels like a money message. This does not feel like it's related to this person. But if it, maybe it could be. Don't let fear get in the way here, though. There could also be someone who's like sending you mixed messages about something to do with money or business um, and you feel like you don't know what to do or which direction to take. Just be aware of that. Be aware of anything that feels toxic or like unhealthy or you just have like a suspicion because you've got obstacles, blocks, pathways, delays. It doesn't mean it's not happening. But I just feel like you've worked very hard for something and you don't want it to be taken away after all this hard work you've put in. We got children, childlike, innocence, fun. I feel like that's how this person approaches this too with those pages coming out. Just like, let's just have fun. You got travel, vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment. Some of you might be traveling. You did get that, that chariot card for this person. They could They could be traveling right now family origins soul family groups so again this person could just be part of your soul family someone who's here to teach you a lesson in some way new love new person unknown person so i mean we're doing a new love reading so <laughs> that's that's appropriate um i just feel like your healing is your priority because yeah like you got romance and then you also got to ask your angels so I feel like this person is romantic with the Knight of Cups here, but I also feel like they, once they get in really deep, they, it's almost like they, it's like swimming to the deep end of the pool and then all of a sudden they're drowning. And so in order to stop drowning, instead of learning how to swim, they just jump out of the pool. They're like, oh, I'm not going to do that again. And you might be left like, what? I thought we were going to the deep end together. I thought we were going to learn how to swim together. Yeah, because look, you got indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So if someone's indecisive about you, Gemini, that's a decision in and of itself, right? Judgment, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges, right? So it can be really difficult, let's just be real, to not judge someone sometimes. Like, why are they doing this to me? Or why are they acting like that? Or why would they say or do that? I feel like spirits, like a gentle reminder here, like this person does have their own path, their own history, their own issues. Not that it's yours to fix or bear, right? But just recognizing like, okay, this person just doesn't know how to show up in the right way. If it's too burdensome, I'm good on that. Rather than taking it like personal or feeling like you have to fix it. Because you got double mission. Lightworker starseed, serve the world by being you. So I feel like like a mission of yours might be to obviously be here, grow, evolve, but like you may also feel like the need to help others, Gemini, which I feel like is such a beautiful quality, but discernment here might be helpful. Because you also got I'm sorry. 
defenselessness, defenselessness, writing past wrongs and uprooting. Let me just read that. That came through for someone else the other day. Who was it? I can't remember. One of the water signs. Um, as souls, we intrinsically remember unity and yearn for it here on earth. Perhaps this is why it feels so painful when we experience the opposite. But it's crucial to remember that we can't simply bypass reality and pretend that unity, love, and forgiveness are here. This is one of the greatest challenges for star seeds. To bring about unity, we must first acknowledge the ways in, with, in which both we and the world have been divisive, personally, ancestrally, and collectively. The shadows, the hate, the wounds, the separation, the severing, the wrongs, and the sadness. So you may be called to explore how you, your ancestors, or your society have consciously or unconscious, unconsciously inflicted pain on others. To find a way to drop the armor around your heart and see things as they truly are for all people. To say I'm sorry with an open heart and mean it. To be part of the healing rather than the per perpetuation of inherited conflict or oppression. This isn't about blame, it's about unwinding the patterns that got us here. So how are you being called to drop your defenses and unwind past wrongs? Now, if you're sitting there like, I do not feel like this message is for me at all, perhaps this is just what this person is being called to do. And so because they're kind of still in this energy of trying to uproot past and heal it and move past it, again, just a reminder that what they're doing isn't a reflection of you, Gemini. It's a reflection of what's going on internally for them. I hope that makes sense. You got new life and you got loyal heart. Number 39 and number 35. Let's see. 39. New energy enters old relationships and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives way to spring. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion, and hearts full of joy. This card is a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnerships in all forms. So I feel like there is an energy here of newness. Obviously, we got new love and whatever it might be, but I feel like it's just the beginning, if that makes sense. I feel like this person has... I mean, we all have healing to do here, but I, I feel like the ability to see it from the perspective of, you know, this person's going through some things that have nothing to do with me, but maybe I can still be a friend to support them. Maybe not. Maybe it's just too much for me. It's just, I feel like this experience is teaching you discernment. It's teaching you boundaries. It's teaching you like what's good for you, what's not good for you, especially if you are used to being like a helper. Um, but then you also got loyal heart, which says, are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea? Have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it? Now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some room. So again, this could be, like I said, someone from the past trying to start up something new again. Never really got off the ground before. But this could just remind you of the past. Um, this per I feel like this person is reminded of the past through you here. I, you got, you know, multiple messages here of new. There is new coming, but I feel like this has to be like pruned away first. It's a little blurry. I'm not going to lie, Gemini. Um, but if you still have questions, make sure you check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes are completely free. I am also doing a 200k giveaway. Uh, thank you, Gemini, for helping me get here. Thank you for being part of the collective. Um, check out the community tab. You're going to have to scroll down a bit to the 200k giveaway post. There you can find the contest rules on how to enter and three lucky subscribers will win a free reading from me. So go check it out and best of luck. And then let's see. 
Wow. Okay. We got a lot. Um, only one number. So these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe license plates, zip codes, postal codes. Just take it as it resonates. The numbers could be numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. If something does not resonate though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got J, A, Y, S, T, W, B, I, I again, Q, and the number one. Okay, Gemini, so I hope something resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.